talk about gastrointestinal health. Training stress has been demonstrated to induce gastric ulcer formation. Travel and horse show stress are really tough on a horse. Uh, uh, Mary Owl did a project where they took a group of young horses, they scoped them, they found they were ulcer free. They then subsequently put these horses in trailers and shipped them to a place like this, housed them there for a couple of days, had them work like they were horse showing, put them back in the trailers and shipped them back home a couple of hours. It might have been several hours, I don't remember the distance. Scoped them again. And a very high percentage, something over 60% of those horses developed ulcers. From interrupted meals, travel stress, noise, loud music, interrupted schedules of working, and so forth. So how do we prevent that? Well, daily imiprazole was demonstrated to be preventive for this. Now, there's two different ways you can give it. Um, for the treatment of ulcers, it's a four milligram per kilogram dose which would be a full tube of Gastrogard to, say, a horse that's like 1,200, 1,250 pounds. But the preventive dose, if a horse is known to be healthy and seems to be ulcer-free, is one milligram per kilogram, which would be a quarter of a tube of Gastrogard. Gastrogard, to, Gastrogard and UlcerGuard are exactly the same product. Okay? It's just a matter of how they're dispensed in the tube. Okay? And so it's a little more convenient to dose from the ulcer guard tube than it is to the gastric guard. But they're both imiprazole. They both are in the protective patented formulation that Mariel has that prevents the product from being oxidized and damaged. Gastric acid destroys imiprazole. If you give a horse just plain old generic imiprazole, it will be destroyed when it goes to his stomach and it'll never make its way to the small intestine where it must be absorbed into the bloodstream and then come back via the bloodstream to the cells that are making acid. It does not work by direct contact. It does not, okay? So if it's oxidized because it's not in that protective emulsion that Marielle has patented, it's not gonna work as well because it's gonna be partially oxidized or destroyed completely. So, and I don't work for Marielle either. Okay, but I, I, I did do some uh, advisory work for them when we started gastroscoping horses in the early 90s. And um, you know, when subsequently Gastrogard was developed in the late 90s, uh, you know, I did a fair amount of advisory work for them. And, and you know, we were seeing a great deal of product out there that was claiming to be equal to Gastrogard, but it is not. So uh, eventually that happened to change but uh, they got a re-up when they developed the ulcer guard product. Um, so think about it, because you get what you pay for. Yes? Okay, I've heard um, to be uh, baking soda as a buffer. I know that doesn't like solve or cure ulcer. It's a buffer, but it's a buffer. So when would you recommend or advise someone to be careful? Right before you're gonna go to the clock, go in the ring, okay. your okay. breakfast meal. Okay. Yeah, it might be of some benefit. Um, it's been shown that when horses exert, when they jump, or when they do pee off and passage, and they sit and they tense their abdomen, there's regurgitation of small bowel content into the small into the stomach from the small bowel, and that's more acidic and very irritating because it also contains bile acids, and that can be very irritating in a horse's stomach. So if you if you've helped buffer things a little bit by adding something such as say like Nalox or a product like that. But that only is gonna work while it's in the stomach, okay? It's not gonna work ongoing. The imiprazole will last for 24 hours because it'll continue to inhibit the proton pump or the acid pump in, in the gut. Um, 